In this video, we're going to determine whether the equation is an identity, conditional equation, or contradiction. An identity is an equation that is true for all real numbers in the domain of the variable. A conditional equation is an equation that is true for some real numbers, but not all, in the domain of the variable. And a contradiction is one that is never true. Let's focus on this first equation here, 2 times x minus 1 equals 2x minus 2. Solution. We can distribute the 2, so we get 2 times x, which is 2x, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. On the right-hand side, we have 2x minus 2. So 2x minus 2 is equal to 2x minus 2. This is always true. Always. And so in this case, we have an identity, because it is always true. Now you could keep going here if you wanted to. You could add two to both sides, and you would just get two x equals two x. Then you could divide by two, and you would just get x equals x. And you would still get the same thing. You would get identity. In this next example, we have four times x plus one equals three x plus six. We'll start by distributing the four. So four times x is gonna give us four x, and four times one is gonna give us four. And here we have equals, and then 3x plus 6. We could solve this for x by subtracting 3x from both sides. So minus 3x, minus 3x, and subtracting 4 from both sides. So minus 4, minus 4. These cancel. 4x minus 3x is just x. That's equal to these cancel. And then 6 minus 4 is 2. The answer is 2. And so it's only true for 2, so it's true for x equals 2, but no other real numbers. So it's true for some, but not all real numbers, therefore it's called a conditional equation. Remember, a conditional equation is an equation that is true for some, but not all real numbers in the domain of the variable. This last equation is 2 times x minus 1 equals 2x plus 2. We can take the 2 and distribute it. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So here we get 2x plus 2. We can subtract 2x from both sides. And that gives us negative 2, which is equal to 2, which is false. So this is called a contradiction. Remember, a contradiction is an equation that is never true. Now, I kept saying in the domain of the variable. Every time I mentioned identity or conditional equation, I mentioned domain of the variable. Remember, an identity is an equation that is true for all real numbers in the domain of the variable. A conditional equation is an equation that is true for some real numbers, but not all, in the domain of the variable. So what do I mean by the domain of the variable? Let me just do one more example to clear that up, because I do think it's a very confusing point. Let's say we had something like 1 over x equals x over x squared. Let's go ahead and figure out if this is an identity, a conditional equation, or a contradiction. Solution. The so first note that by writing down this equation, it is implied that x is not equal to zero because we cannot have one over zero. So when someone writes this down and you look at it, you know that x can't be zero because it doesn't make any sense. So the domain is kind of implicitly defined. So we know that the domain of this variable is all real numbers except zero because you can't divide by zero. And if we write this equation down, one over x equal to x over x squared, we can see that uh, one of the x's cancels because this is the same thing as x. Well, actually, let me write it underneath so it's a little more clear. This is the same thing as x over x times x. And so we lose one of the x's. So this is 1 over x equals 1 over x. So this is always true for all real values of x in the domain of the variable. So this is an identity. Right? All real values of x except 0. So it's called an identity. That's why I kept saying domain of the variable, because sometimes you're given an equation, and by writing down that equation, there's some restriction that's implied. And so we want to take that into consideration for our specific definition. Hopefully this video has taught you some mathematics. 
If you feel like you've learned some math, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.